At my side here, I have the ETWOW GT20 and I've been riding for the last two months. What is my thoughts about this one? Is it good? Is it bad? What is the charging times? What is the accessories that I really use with this one? What is my full opinion about this commuter scooter? Is it good enough for the money that you spend? If you want to know everything, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EOCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about an electric scooter. Yes, you know that I love electric unicycles, but I know that many of you guys love electric scooters. So I needed to bring this one that, in my opinion, for the price, is one of the best electric scooters commuters that you can purchase in 2021 and obviously we are talking about the ETWOW GT 2020. What makes this one so special and that we will not find in other electric scooters that you have on the market. So the first thing that I want to point it out is the charger and it's not normal in this type of range price to find an electric scooter with a 3 amps charger. So basically you can have this one fully charged from zero for less than four hours. And when we talk about range in this one, I never ran out of juice. I was able to go to the city center, coming back and continue to have battery to do other stuff. And that is quite impressive for a so small package that you have here. Another thing that I was not really interested when I saw this one is the type of tire. So this one is airless tires. So obviously the big advantage that you have is you don't have a flat tire when you are running with this one but the disadvantage is that normally is going to take part of your comfort but I was really really impressed with the suspension that you have on the front and the suspension that you have on the back it was basically absorbing everything and when I say everything <laughs> it's everything I took this one to the woods with a friend of mine and he was also very very impressed how good it was working obviously if you try to go to a wet floor if you try to go on grass or in mud this scooter is going to lose a lot a lot of power so don't get me wrong it's really powerful with the 48 volts but this is a city rider is to use for example in the middle of london if the police doesn't start to just take all our scooters away but it's a very very good commuter the next thing that i wanted to talk is about the handle i definitely said to you guys that the handle was really really narrow and i was not really convinced and i thought that i will feel very very unstable with this handle because i think that is much much better to have a handle that is a little bit wider the reality is i really like it in the same way because i could completely lock my elbows next to my body and i really felt that when i was just pulling my body in the back and going full throttle i felt quite stable with this one even if they say to you guys that you can go up to 40 kilometers per hour with this scooter yes you can but it's not a reality so giving you my experience with my weight i have 71 kilos as a reference for you guys and I could go without a problem really really f fast until 32 kilometers per hour after that you could manage to reach easily 37 kilometers per hour but to reach the 40s you definitely need a good road that will allow you to go really fast to reach those speeds otherwise if you really need to go around traffic, etc., it will not be able to reach the 40 kilometers per hour because it takes time to develop that type of speed. So 32 kilometers per hour, really, really zippy to reach that speed. 37 is reachable. After that is more difficult to go forward. So let's talk about something that I didn't really understood is this plastics in red. I said that when I was just unboxing and I continue to don't understand why they didn't put there some lights. The good thing is if you know how to customize a bit your scooter, you have already there a structure that will allow you to put some lights on the inside and control it. So definitely a plus. But for the defense of this ETWOW GT 2020, you have a light on the back and you have a light on the front. The light on the front mm, is not the best, it's not going to give you a lot of visibility during the night, but it's there and will allow you to go forward. Another thing that I really like was this locking mechanism to close and open. I didn't feel that it's cheap and is going to basically disassemble and come, uh, come apart in just a couple of uses. This one have that extra feature that you, it will allow you to lock that in place and they will not close it. So that was something that I really, really like it. You don't have a lot of screws to basically pass your time just 
attaching everything and that is one of the big problems when you have an electric screwdriver is that after a while just with the vibrations of the roads where you ride you start feeling that everything starts to get very very loose i didn't felt that in the last two months that i've been using this electric scooter so definitely a plus i don't use scooters all the time every single day but every single time that i just picked this one and i just went to a ride just to enjoy the weather i didn't felt that another thing that i really like it was the mudguard i was really really impressed that it was basically covering everything obviously some dust it goes up but i didn't felt water going up or mud like i said if it's raining i really don't recommend you to use it but if the floor is slightly wet these these tires they will continue to manage to do their job and another thing is also talking about brakes and I was really really impressed with the hand brake that you have and with the um, regenerative brakes that you have so just those two I felt that it was more than enough but if you need you have an extra brake on the back that I never never use it but if you need it is there for you when we talk about accessories like I said in the beginning I use this handle here that will allow me to just close it and grab it and take it wherever I want definitely something that I really like about this one the other thing is the handlebar because it's so small and you can just close it I can tell you for experience my house is really small and if you are from the UK you know that the houses here they are not massive was allowing me to have this in the middle of the corridor and the handle was not in the way disturbing us to just passing around and one of the big reasons why I think that this is one of the best scooter commuters that you have on the market because if you are going to use this one for example on your train or if you are going to take the bus it's really good and it's really cool to have a scooter that is really really compact and light and when we talk about weight you have 13 kilos below that is just a toy this one looks like a toy but it's really really powerful when we talk about the deck definitely it's not the widest deck that you have on the market but it's also not the longest one but I felt quite comfortable and locked in place using this one as a reference I'm only 1.69 meters and I was happy with it so definitely a plus when we talk about the screen I was saying in the unboxing that I thought it was going to be too dark in sunny days the reality is that it was bright enough for me to use it and the big disadvantage about that screen is that when you want to customize something there or changing the settings you need to know the combinations from those four buttons and it's not really easy to just remember all the stuff so for that you need to use your phone that is a disadvantage compared to other brands when we talk about the controls I really like it the response of it but I really felt that they could have put better plastic there I really felt it was cheap but when we talk about the response just giving here an example compared to uh, Inokim I I feel that you always feel like a delay with an Inokim with here you have like a a real instant uh, when you are pressing is really responsive to accelerate and brake and that was one of the things that is more important for me when we talk about safety and that you can take out of the ETWOW GT 2020 when we talk about the kickstand I was surprisingly happy to see that it was quite easy to just open and close I thought it was too much on the bottom but it was not true it was quite handy the last thing that I want just to point it out is the build quality and that is simply amazing like I said many screws you have issues you need to start uh, tightening some screws and like I said on the unboxing there is not a lot of screws on this one I never felt that something starts to get loose in the last two months and I had to do some adjustments so definitely some of the things that I simply simply hate when we talk about screws and I didn't felt with this one let me know in the comments below what is your thoughts about this scooter my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one